Welcome back. All right, so news of the day video for all you fine people. News of the night video, I guess we could say, because it's, it's well, it's not night everywhere, I guess, because Earth globe and all. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and discuss uh, a trade that took place today. Uh, Curtis McDermott has been traded to the New Jersey Devils. I guess they're looking for a little bit of toughness up front. Played 29 games for the Avs. Two goals, 23 penalty minutes in his role. Uh, in return, the Avs get back a 2024 seventh round draft pick and uh, a forward named Zakhar Bartikov, who is 23 years of age, playing in the KHL, has played 51 games this year, six goals, six assists, 12 points. It's that time of year where guys get traded and are involved in trades, and we look and scratch our heads and go, who? And so that's what's happened here. But for New Jersey, looking for a little bit of toughness, uh, based on the early returns of tonight's game, they, they may need a little bit more than that, but we'll see how it all turns out for them. Uh, there were also a couple of fines that were handed out. Does the player, does part of player safety not get up as early as they used to? Because it feels like the fines lately have been coming out later in the day. Uh, both McCarran and Zuccarello were fined for their actions in last night's game. So unsportsmanlike conduct for both. It's just a slap on the wrist. Um, and, and it'll be interesting to see the next time Nashville and Minnesota play against each other, whether or not there's any carryover. There usually isn't. We talk a lot about it, but usually it, it, there isn't because the games get more and more important. So, yeah. Um, now, Jacob Markstrom. Markstrom's name has been mentioned a lot in trade rumors. It, and, I mean, on some level, it makes some sense, right? Because at 34 years of age, it might be the most value he ever has. Uh, Markstrom is not happy, though, with the way that management, it seems like, it's, he said the people up top, so that usually means management. Um, he's not, unless it's the people up in the rafters in Calgary at the Saddle Dome. I don't think so. But, um, yeah, Markstrom's frustrated with how the Flames have handled the trade speculation. I, I guess just meaning it was kind of clumsy. Uh, he also was careful to point out that his teammates have been great, and he's been really happy with how they've responded to it. It's just management that he doesn't seem to be all that happy with. So, uh, we'll see what happens. Kaprizov night is tomorrow, so, um, you know, it, it should be a happy evening for the Flames as they're at home against the Penguins. But, yeah, we'll we'll see how things turn out. Markstrom, it sounds like, not all that happy with the way things were done. So who knows? Maybe after this season's done, he'll be like, you know what? Fine, I'll go. Uh, but that may happen this summer anyways because it, it is perceived that Wolf is about ready. Uh, he had a rough time in his most recent call-up but still is seen as being ready. And so we'll see what happens there with the Calgary Flames. Uh, the PWHL, a pretty smart move here for the PWHL. And I'm going to say it for Mattel as well. Um, they've partnered with Barbie slash Mattel. Uh, there is a hockey Barbie doll. I know because uh, my daughter has it. And uh, that was like her favorite Barbie for a while there because uh, she was playing hockey as well. So this is this is a really smart partnership. This is honestly a really smart partnership. We'll see where this goes. Um, and this could mean serious cash for the PWHL as well. So honestly, all the reviews for PWHL have been strong. A lot of people that are, are you know, uh, taking in PWHL games or enjoying the product. And that's great. It is great to see that it's healthy. And as I mentioned before, it does feel like it's a different audience. And that is exactly how it should be so uh yeah kudos to the pwhl for that partnership i almost missed that one too if it wasn't for tara sloan uh re-xing it or tweeting it or tweet xing it or I don't, I don't really care what it's called i still call them retweets but she she retweeted that i was like i missed that how did i miss that so yeah kudos to the pwhl and to mattel i think it's a really really smart cross promotional opportunity there uh, so the three stars for the month of February uh, for the National Hockey League. Austin Matthews, the first star in 12 games for Toronto. 13 goals, 7 assists, 20 points. Uh, more than a goal a game. Uh, it's kind of showing off. It's showing off, and other players would like him to slow down. Uh, McDavid, on the other hand, he's showing off when it comes to assists. Uh, in 12 games, he put up very uh, defenseman-like totals of 2 goals, 25 assists, 27 points. So somewhere, Adam Fox is looking at this and going, I, I could do that in a month. All right, just... Let me, let me get some stretches done here. I can do that in a month. But yeah, 27 points in 12 games. McDavid, not bad. Uh, not bad for a player that uh, earlier in the season, he was kind of slowed down a little bit. There was speculation about whether or not he was healthy. But yeah, 27 points in 12 games. Uh, dude's pretty healthy right now. And Igor Shesterkin, the th third star of the month. Uh, New York Rangers goalie went 7-0 with a shutout this, this past month. So 
yeah, I think those are three pretty strong stars of the month for the National Hockey League. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe in the event that you haven't done so already. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.